Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I post videos once a week, mainly about makeup and sometimes about hair, fashion, lifestyle, beauty, skincare, all that good stuff. Today, I am going to be doing a first impression and review of the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. It's a water-based primer rather than a silicone-based one. I have the mini size just to try out and see if I like it. So it looks like this. The full-size one is a lot bigger. So if you guys want to see my first impression thoughts try on, then please keep on watching. Just have one thing. Um, the packaging on this is really, really cute in classic Too Faced style. It's just very cutesy, very girly, very frilly, very pink. And it's nice. It's got these gold accents. So all the claims are in foiled gold, as well as just the little heart decorations that they have around. Very, very nice packaging. So I'll just read the claims on here. It says it's proactive. Okay, whatever that means. It's water-based, so it's gonna be very hydrating. You're, I think, supposed to use this with a water-based foundation rather than a silicone-based foundation. I'm gonna be using this with a water-based foundation. The sample that I have is kind of old, so hopefully it, the formula hasn't deteriorated. So we'll put this on. Right now, I just have moisturizer and face oil on, and I'm hoping that my skin isn't too greasy that it interacts weirdly. My skin has been so dry that I really needed to add hydration and moisture to it. So I I just got the uh, the mini size. Oh my God, it's so small. This is 20 milliliters. I think the other one, the full size is one ounce. I don't know why the cap is so big. Oh, you know what? It's a pump, that's why. That's why, that makes sense. We don't have instructions. Okay, so we'll just put it on. Oh, okay. So that's what it looks like. It's very watery. I don't really smell too much coconut, which is fine. I'll just kind of dab this on. Oh, it's very, very creamy isn't the right word, but it's very light and fluid. I haven't used too many Too Faced products. I've used their eye primer before, and I feel like this kind of has a similar consistency. Like it's surprisingly light. My skin looks very dewy right now. Okay, so I'll just give that a minute and I'll get my foundation ready. So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in this shade Swan. I've used this before. This is a sample that I got an embarrassingly long time ago. So I hope that this still works. And I have a review on my channel. You can check that out over here. I remember I like this formula. It wasn't my favorite, but I liked it. Let's see how I feel about it with this primer. I might have taken too much on here. I'm gonna take a brush. Last time I think I used a makeup sponge, but I want the coverage to stay full, so and the makeup sponge kind of shears that out a little bit. So let's try this out. Ooh, it is caking and separating under my eye. Wow, what is happening? It is like completely separating. Okay, let's, let's try the sponge. Well, it is completely separating and pilling. I'm gonna have to take it off in some areas. I think it's probably the face oil and moisturizer, so I'm gonna take this off and start again. All right, I am back. Let's try that again. Okay, this time I'm gonna apply it with the sponge because that seemed to work a little bit better. Okay, yeah, it was definitely my moisturizer, I think. It looks very sheer, but it is giving me a really nice glow. All right, so I think I can build up a little more coverage. The formula feels very thin. It's also, I think it's a little bit lighter than I might go for now. Yeah, it's a little light. Could probably go like one shade darker, but oops. So I think because it is so liquidy and water-based, I think I'm gonna have to set this with powder. Otherwise, I mean, finish looks really, really nice. Still getting that dewiness even when I layered a couple times. I'll just turn down the light so you can see.
Yeah, so it's really not too, too bad. Just getting a little bit of pilling around the sides. Um, not too much separation or texture on my nose. I'm getting a little bit of that. Not as bad as some other foundations that I've used. So I'm going to do some concealer. Hopefully that layers on top nicely. I've had some issues with this um, because my skin has been so dry lately. I've had some issues with this just like completely separating or sticking to texture, which I've never had before. Uh, so I'm going to put that on. I'm going to do my brows. Already I'm getting some creasing under my eyes. So we'll definitely have to set that. I think I put too much concealer. Oh yeah. Okay, already that's way better. Oh, that is so pretty. And still getting that dewiness and still getting that creasing. I don't love the creasing that's happening, but otherwise it looks nice. You can still see my dark circles though. So I got some puffiness going on. Um, all right, so I guess I'll do the rest of my face and then come back with final thoughts. But initial reactions so far, really really liking this it's like i don't want to set with this with powder because i like keeping that dewiness but i think i'm gonna to have to set my under eyes and then of course my sort of contour area so i can use powder products so yeah i'm gonna come back when my whole face is done and then i'll talk about my final thoughts all right so this is the final look um if you want to see a tutorial of how i did this look it's part of my Pride 2020 series. This is a blue monochromatic look that I did. I'll link that over here and I'll link it below as well so you can watch that video if you are interested. I was wearing a wig earlier and I'll just zoom in so you can see what my forehead looks like. Okay, let's just turn down the lights a bit. Okay, so as you can see, there's a line where I had my wig cap. I basically put my wig cap on and then slide it back so that my hair is as far back as possible. Just took my foundation off partially. When I was blending out this blue blush situation that I have, it started to take off the foundation that I had underneath. I hadn't set my cheek area. I set under my eyes in kind of the contour area, but I hadn't set my cheeks because I did want some of that dewiness. And I kind of regret not doing that because it just made the foundation sort of crumble and slide. Um, the areas that I did set, so under my eyes and partially on my forehead, were doing okay before. They started to separate a little bit, which I don't love. Um, down here it looks alright. Contour area looks fine. As you can see in the clip, there is a little bit of crumbling, a little bit of, I don't even know if I'd call it pilling, but like just separation on my forehead, probably where my wig cap kind of dragged the foundation like right off my forehead. Um, I've got a couple other areas like around my nose where there's a little bit of crumbling slash separation but not too too bad. Um, under my eyes also it's looking a little bit cakey, not terrible but I did have to layer a couple layers of foundation on there. Not too too much textures showing through on my cheeks which is great. Just kind of the separation and slippage of the foundation that I was unhappy with. Now, I don't know if it's because the foundation is old and it doesn't perform as well as it did. Yeah, so I almost feel like I'd have to combine this foundation with a silicone-based one just to make foundation stick better but still have that hydrating element to it because I do like how hydrating it is and my skin doesn't look dry or dehydrated. It just kind of had a problem sticking and I really don't want to have to set my foundation. Like I really do like having that dewiness showing through. I just don't want my foundation to move whenever I put any products on top of it. I feel like you lose all the, the nice beautiful aspects of the primer and even the foundation when you start adding powder on top. I don't know. If you guys have used this primer and or this foundation before and have any recommendations, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below because I'm a little bit at a loss. I might have to just kind of play around with this some more. So first impressions, I really liked this primer. I just wish it there was a bit more stick rather than slip to it because I didn't like my foundation moving around so much and separating a little bit. So first impressions, I think I give it a 3.75 out of 5 because I like it. It just kind of moved around too much. Again, I don't know if my foundation is just old and separated 
not because of the primer, but just because of the formula getting old. So I'm gonna have to try this with a newer foundation and see how it works. Okay, so this is another day I'm trying out the primer with another foundation. I'm gonna use the Clarins Everlasting Foundation. I've used this before, so I sort of know how it behaves and we'll try it out. This one's more of like a, it's like a matte formula, but it seems to stay in place nicely. So I'll see how it works with the primer. So I'll do like about that much. I'm thinking maybe I used too much primer last time, so I'll try it with a bit less. You can see I have a lot of redness today. I've been having a bad eczema flare. I don't know what's going on. Fine, and now let's try the foundation. I don't wanna be super full coverage today, but we'll see what happens. looks nice doesn't seem to be super separating maybe a little bit under my eyes hard to tell and now I'm gonna add a bit of concealer I feel like the key with this is not to like spread it because I feel like it kind of moves a lot so I feel like stamping it is kind of a better call see the thing is I feel like I have to set this down but I don't want to because it's really pretty on its own Um, okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I will be back. So I finish off the rest of my face. If you want to see how I did this look, I've got another video, which I'll link over here. It's part of my Pride 2020 series. So this is a, the monochromatic purple look that I did. How does my face look? It's actually, it's really not that bad. I feel like I might've just used too much primer last time because like my contour and blush went on pretty smoothly. I do have some creasing under my eyes, but I think that's more of like an eczema and sort of over hydrating so that my uh, face products don't dry my skin out too much. I've been having some issues with my concealer kind of like showing a lot of texture and bunching and looking kind of gross. So I feel like that's probably from that than the actual primer. I'm not really sure I'm trying to figure that out. I'll just zoom in and turn down the light so you can see what I'm talking about. So overall, as you can see, not too, too bad. Again, you can see texture under my eyes, kind of around my nose a little bit, um, and some separation happening around my nose. Forehead doesn't look too, too bad. Yeah, so overall, not too, too much texture or creasing happening except for under my eyes which as i've mentioned is a problem area um i don't know if i mentioned it before but i'll just say it again i've been struggling with some pretty bad eczema under around and on my eyelids so i've been trying to treat that with a bunch of different products and some work better than others also depends on the day today actually it's not too too bad again i think if i layer on too many products it just creases and separates and just looks bad i'm really trying to figure out a solution just trying to figure out something that works under makeup because the products that seem to hydrate really well, don't seem to work with makeup. So I'm just trying different combinations of things and hopefully one day I'll find something that works. But um, really it's just like that area right under my eyes that's causing me issues. I've got like a little bit of texture over here, but it's it's manageable. Like I, it's not something that I stress out about too much. It's just really like right under like where I've smoked out my eyeshadow that it's really creasing and separating and looking bad. Everywhere else looks fine. Basically, long story short, with this primer, I think less is more. I think I applied too much last time, but I do like it. It does feel hydrating. Because I used less of it and maybe because I'm using a matte foundation, I do lose some of that dewiness that I really liked last time. So I guess I'll have to try different things, maybe use dewier foundations if I want that effect. I'm not really sure, still experimenting. I really do like this primer. I think I think it's a solid five out of five. It's really nice. It feels good under my makeup. Like my makeup doesn't feel heavy. I mean, it feels a little bit heavy where I layered on concealer where it's separated. So yeah, but I mean, in general, my skin doesn't feel like heavy. It doesn't super, I mean, it feels a little bit like I'm wearing makeup, but it's not too, too bad. Smells nice, feels nice. I don't seem to have a reaction to it, fingers crossed. So yeah, I definitely recommend this and I would definitely consider buying the full version of this 
once I run out of the mini size. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. I post photos of a lot of looks that I do on this channel. So if you enjoy the type of looks that I do, you'll probably enjoy the content that I post there. If you enjoy this kind of content and enjoy my thoughts and me, um, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do that, turn on notifications so that you get updated whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you in my next video.